Hello folks, and welcome to Let's Play Dragon's Crown. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Uh, this is one I've been wanting to cover for some time because back in the day when it first like came out, uh, my friends and I had gotten it, and they weren't too interested in the beat-em-up style or the art style, which by the way, the art style of most every vanillaware is vanillaware game is goddamn beautiful. Like, there's this, there's Odin Sphere, there's Muramasa. It's freaking gorgeous. I don't care what people have to say about how the art style comes out. It's goddamn beautiful. And from what I remember of playing this, this was a fun as hell game. And I don't know why we never played all that much in the first place. So, I'm more or less going in with this blind. Uh, I'm only, that's like testing stuff of a thing. So, we are going to start a new game. No data. Must select a character with the select character to go on an adventure. Well, we're going to create a new character. Select a character to create with the Elstick. Well then. So, we have several characters here, and well, each of them had their own uh, like different attributes and whatnot. You got the wizard, ex four more expertise characters than a lot of offensive spells. Go. Hmm. You got go. Sorceress, also recommended for expert players. She's got some really good magic as well, but it's all mostly support magic. All right. The fighter is pretty good for beginners. Admittedly, I am pretty much a beginner all over again. And a lot of really quick, powerful slashes with a sword. My turn. Got the Amazon, which is Probably, along with the Sorceress, made this game rather famous for buxom, revealing characters with thick thighs and large boobs. It's cool. It's an aesthetic. I like it. Uh, but she is also rather strong with powerful, fearsome axe blows and the like. Which she wields a great axe, and you know how I feel about axes. Okay. Got the Elf, which is also for more experienced characters. A very well-rounded character who's more at home with ranged attacks. One more drink. And then there's the dwarf, who is a rock steady character with plenty of strength, plenty of constitution, can throw enemies and objects across the field. You know I'm gonna play the dwarf. Uh, we are not gonna be called Hopkins. We are Darius. Not exactly a very dwarfish name, but hey, whatever. Uh, you can select the color of your character, and that will also pretty much just dictate their skin, beard, coat, however flowy it is. Um, I like the look of the crimson red. God. Dwarf's rippling muscles ripple so much that you can see his blood through his veins. Uh, you can change between Japanese and English. Oh, yeah. Yes. I kind of like the Japanese, but for the sake of those of us who are not native Japanese speakers, we'll go with, Eng or with uh, English. And that's Darius. 18 strength, 3 intelligence. Start with a short hammer, leather belt, healing potion. Ah, this will be interesting. Oh, yeah. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner... Rani is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. Beginning basic tutorial. You're pretty much forced to do this whether or not you uh, is to start a new game here, doing a tutorial. Now we can move. With the X we can jump. With a holding down square, we dash, which is excellent. And evade with R1. <laughs> Cannonball. Normal attacks. Use a combination of a square and left stick to unleash many different types of attacks. And we'll pretty much slide whenever we're attacking and holding in a direction. Look at those goblins. God. Whenever I think goblins, 
I usually think some sort of bestial things like these. Uh, like round attacks, you can use square and L to create many different attack combinations. So jump in the air. Yeah. And then, of course, we got the regular aerial attack, which is more or less a swan dive. <laughs> I love it. Grab an enemy with up and square and push a square again to throw. God, I love this. <laughs> Hold down square to activate pump up. This increases your defense. Yes. Press square, or sorry, that's circle for power smash. So pretty much whenever you power smash, you will always drop your weapon. Which kind of sucks, but then you, you can get your weapons back. Can only be used when you have a weapon. A weapon that you have stabbed into the ground cannot be used until the, the X over it has been emptied. Power smash can be used in conjunction with it to throw your weapon. Success. Yeah, you'll see the red of the X slowly deteriorates deteriorates towards the middle, and then when that's gone, that means we can pick it up again. Special equipment, such as crossbows, can be taken from enemies or treasure chash, cash, caches. Press triangle to pick it up, and press square to use it when it has uses remaining. So now we just gotta bludgeon that guy. Pick up this. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, crossbows will have a limited amount of ammunition to them, which kind of sucks. Items in your item slots can be selected with left or right and used with down. Indeed. Oh yeah, and our weapons have duration, so we're going to have those repaired as well. Oh, you want me to use my healing potion? Fine. When you use an item, there will be a cooldown period before you can use an item again. If you use an equipment item in your inventory, it will replace your current equipment. Cool. Fly on, my dear boy. Food will sometimes appear when you defeat enemies or destroy containers. Bam! And then you just automatically pick up the food. Once you have obtained food, you will begin eating it automatically once you stop moving and attacking. Eating food will store up to 150% of your maximum health. So watch my health bar. Yeah, it went up by 10%? Yeah. Open up. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. Door is locked, but you can order Rani the rogue to open it for you. So now, we have the R stick, which we can move around the place. Whee! And to open the door, move over. R1. Oh, L1, rather. Done. Done. Dude, dude, dude. Sorry, I just love the way that he walks, too. You can ask Rani to open treasure chests for you as well. Yeah, so now... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. By the way, I am playing this on the PlayStation 3. Before anyone gives me guff about how it looks and whatnot. Oh yeah, and there's an orc. By the way, this game has boss battles. Did you guys know that this game had boss battles? This is something of a boss battle anyways. Well, time to murder an orc. Just a natural dwarven pastime, you know? Can I pick you up? I can pick you up. Haha. <laughs> oh, that was you, Renny. Hi. Sorry, buddy. Try to murder you for a second. This ends the basic tutorial. Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. Sounds good. But sometimes you just need a rogue. You can select leave tavern to go into town. And seeing as I am playing this singular player, no, nothing else to do with the tavern. Besides drink. We get a drinking? Hmm. Refreshing. You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. 
the labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't well, hello. currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. Sorry, I was occupied with jiggle physics. You can now go to the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, now we go to Adventurer's Guild. Whee! Nope. Went a little too far. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. Cool, to Morgan's it is. We can now go to Morgan's Magical to Item Shop. deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. That's what we're doing, buddy. You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs, and Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. I feel very welcomed. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview, from ornate magic staves to rusted axes. What do you need? Well, I need to repair my equipment. And apparently my short hammer is very, very damaged. Oh, that's gonna take all my funds. Ah well, it's worth it. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. I certainly will. I might be coming off as rather pervy in this, but come on, you got to admire the artwork. The main menu is now available. You can open it with start or by clicking the player. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. I will. In the main menu, you can change the equipment to use on your adventure or click the armory, which holds all the items you have attained. So yeah, once I collect more weapons and armor, I can, you know, Put them on and take them off and select where I'm gonna what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna leave behind. <sighs> Man, I can't wait to start this off. Ah, start it off proper. To the Adventures Guild. Once again, the Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the guild hall, like a statue. With your equipment now in tip-top condition. You request to join the guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. What will you do? I'm pretty sure that this is just to make sure that you know what the hell you're doing in this game. But I'm going to eagerly accept the entry, entry exam as the guildmaster for Your details. Your test is to help a warrior named Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. Now we get to adventure proper. We can now go to, to the gate. To prove your mettle for the guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior. Roll. A magic gate was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. So pretty much, this is the gate. Go in here, we can pretty much go to what is the world map. Once we have more places to go. But for now. God, this is such a beautiful game! Sorry. I, it's been a while since I've gushed over this game. Vanillaware games are just inherently beautiful. So. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian Temple. Whack. Some quiescent, some far less so. An ancient dragon, spoken of in myths, is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. An ancient dragon, you say? Defeating enemies and picking up score items will earn points. These points will become experience at the end of your adventure. 
So pretty much this is like a classic AD&D. &D. Yep. It was trapped in a cage. Apparently I delivered already did the fairy that was trapped in the cage. But yeah, the more gold you collect, the more experience points you get, the more experience points you get, the more you level up, the more you level up, the more, you know, powerful you become. Oh yeah. Throwing your axe is so worth it sometimes. Just like, well, I'm gonna destroy everything now. Alright. What are you complaining about over here? Do your job, Renny. Let's see. Open. Voila. Treasure and key. When you open up a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. Once you return from the dungeon, you will be given a chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment you have gained. Uh, at the moment, I just seem to have an arbalist, but no, well, we'll focus on that when we get there. Uh, you can also have Renny. You can also click on the background and whatnot and possibly find stuff. But I have no clue where any of that stuff is. You have made your way to Roland. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. Why the hell aren't you a playable character? Holy crap. For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. He tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. That's mildly depressing. But such is the life of an adventurer. Also, asps. Oh, you want a piece of this? Oh, that's a miss. Want a piece of this? Oh, shit. Shit! Release me, beast. Well, now I'm poisoned. That sucks. No. Nope. Pick that up. Oh. Oh, no, it's not... I don't even need to click. I just need to move around the mouse back there. Okay. Uh, crossbow. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. Hmm. Could have sworn there was something else in this room, but oh well. It's my turn. Simple. Simple. The orc army is apparently getting oh, hi. via the wall. Well, their cargo doesn't help if I miss. From ships that have been reported missing. Renny, can you pick up some of the food? No, I can do that. Nom 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 nom. Yes, food. Eat it all up. There we go. All right, Randy, open up. Let's see. Oh, hello. Voila. I remember a lot of the time that I w went to play this game, and any I singular noticed. time that Randy would uh, be commanded to do something, I had just found whatever there was by accident. I'm not even sure why I'm keeping these crossbows. This snake's gonna be back in here. No, they don't respawn. Just making sure. It would be a shame if I were to die to snakes, of all things. Lizard! Oh. Mmm, treasure. I don't Enemy. like the fact that there's giant spider webs, and that is why. Sorry, was that an onion? Oh. Let's see. Oi! Don't touch the rogue. I got it. Oh yeah. Oh my. Sorry. Any singular time that he goes like says anything, I just instantaneously think uh Ah uh, Zulu. Oh, that's a trap. I don't want to get hit by that. But I want to collect the coin. I'm taking it slow and steady mostly because I don't want to suddenly be jumped out of nowhere. Oh, hello. Bats! I just destroyed that ever loving crap out of that bat. Hello. Okay. I remember now. You can tell. There's a telltale sign of there's something being there if you see a sparkle. 
That's a good sparkle. By the way, you can revisit these dungeons later on. Hello. You can pick up du bones that you find in the stage. You have found with the bones of a missing adventurer. Sometimes the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. Yes. Give me loot. <laughs> so the bones are actually also a mechanic and not just a quest thing. What ho? Oh, what have we here? Enemies. Enemies, apparently. Lizard folk. Just look at these lizard folk. Ha ha. God, I love playing this dwarf. Anyways. Hello. Any more lizard folk? Hmm. That looks like a nest of bones. And that's a harpy. All right, let me just power up a little bit. I'm glad I did. Whoa. Okay, wow. I've never really been good with beat em ups, just uh, FYI. But she seems pretty apt at just staying in one place and attacking me. This is awesome freaking harpy, by the way. You very rarely see them depicted more of their animal behalf. Like, even D&D &D makes it so as they're essentially sexy winged maidens. Which I have no problem with. There seem to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. You well, that's bad. the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. Ah, man, we missed some S, A, and B treasure. Unless there is none in this area. First area and all. You've leveled up. Oh, nearly leveled up again. You can now appraise items that you have claimed from treasure chests. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. So if I remember correctly, uh, which I probably don't, we can appraise by pressing X or sell by pressing triangle now we are not going to pretty much need anything except hammers because uh i'm playing the dwarf i know that you can have multiple characters but selling uh that can okay bracelets oh mm. this mantle is gonna be badass too because it's worth like 400 oh wait that's a hammer I like axes. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna sell this one. Um, Praise this. Stonewall Royal Mantle. Physical resistance 6%. Lightning resistance 11. That's neat. Now, here's the thing, too. Now that I've um, identified it, I can actually sell it for a higher price. But... You know, you kind of lose out a little bit because you just appraised it, so. Double axe. For two to seven damage. Eh. One to five. Yeah, okay. The double axe is better than the slamming steel hammer. I kind of lost out on that. I guess I should be good. Now again, I can equip this shit, so... Uh, more or less, I made out pretty good, I think. You've obtained equipment. The uh, uh, main menu and equipped you your items. The request. Report your work to the guildmaster. So, overall, thanks to the fact that my short hammer is suck, uh, the double axe increases that exponentially. And it's also got a better amount of durability as well, so I can work with that. Uh, I don't know whether or not I need to replace what I've already wo got worn. Like, can I just stack multiples? Yes, I can. I am feeling very dwarfish. <laughs> just running around wearing a belt, some gloves, and a cloak. And I got a freaking axe. I love it. 
So really quickly, uh, if there is a need to... Hmm. Well, I'm gonna put on the damage display. HP gauge, below creatures... Nah, shouldn't need that. Player marker... I mean, I'm the one player in here, so... NPC join settings... I'm not planning on playing online, so... Should all be good. Any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return... We have to go back to the guild to say, hey, we finished the quest. Huzzah. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I might. I mean, come on. It's freaking high fantasy brawler, essentially. I love these kind of games. And hopefully you guys will too. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. When we return to the guild. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.